Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be back. As you can hear, I have a little bit of <clears throat> some sinus stuff going on, but I'm excited to be back with you guys. I missed everybody, I missed going live. It has been a chaotic couple weeks. Some crazy stuff happened, but I wanna thank all of you for all of your support and giving me this time that I needed to have with my family. And I'm gonna really quickly send this over to the VIP group. Um, today, in the VIP group, <clears throat> I will be over there doing a special demo all week at 6 o'clock. So if you are not in the VIP group, comment VIP below and we'll get you guys over there. Um, it will be a special um, live demo just for VIPs. So if you are not in the VIP group and you are not a designer and you would love to be in the VIP group, please comment VIP below. Today is October 3rd. It's crazy. It's already the 3rd. <clears throat> if my voice gives out, I am sorry. I am trying to get past all that. <clears throat> Let me quickly pull up my other phone, see if I can see comments. I Sometimes I can see comments, sometimes I can't. It's not that I'm ignoring you. I am not ignoring you. I will answer your comments if I see them um, or when I see them. Um, today we are going to do a rustic round. I painted it black. I was going to paint it with my chalk paste until I realized how low I was on my chalk paste. So I was like, ah, stop. So I painted it with this chalky finish deco art paint that I absolutely love. Um, and it works great too. And of course you can chalk right over top of that. So today we're gonna do a special um, project for my front door because I'm getting ready to decorate for um, the holidays. <clears throat> and since I'm going to be doing something on my door, I figured a rustic round would be perfect so I could do Halloween on one side and fall on the other. Um, we're gonna do Halloween. And a huge reason why is because Halloween right now for club members, you can save huge as a club member. Um, if you are not a club member and you want to know more about Club Couture, comment Club below and I would love to talk to you all about that. Club is our subscription box that is a monthly subscription box. You get your transfer, which is a V-size transfer, and you get three pay singles. Plus, you have access to so many specials just for Club. And I do something special for Club, too, over on my VIP page. So you get lots and lots and lots of awesome stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to do the Hocus Pocus broom company which this is in last chance guys last chance which means once it's gone it is gone and I wanted to do this one so bad with you guys and so I said you know what let's make it on a rustic round we're not going to use the frame but my husband came up with a really cute idea so I took a chalk chip I painted it with our glow in the dark paste just directly I did not dilute it and I turned it into I don't know if you can see see the glow to it and I'm gonna do the raven actually on this. Hold on, it's saying that. I don't know if you guys can see me. It's saying that there is, okay, there it is. Um, okay, so this has been painted with um, the glow in the dark paste. It is one of our chalk chips. Our chalk chips come in a stack. Um, I don't know what I did with mine. I must have put them up, but there are 12 of them. They are super cool, super easy. You can puncture holes in them. You can make them into ornaments. There's so many things and it is double-sided. So I'm gonna do the Raven as like it being on the moon and I'm gonna stick that on here as well. So let's get started. Let me move you guys down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I know the frame is a little off. It's because um, I've been trying to redo my talk room and so if it's a little off, I am sorry. I am in the process of moving to my original space, which is across the hall. And we're just trying to get everything set up. Um, so I'm gonna set that off to the side. So we're gonna do Witches Wanted Hocus Pocus Broom Company Inquire Within. We are not gonna do any of this frame that's around here. Um, and we're just gonna make it on the rustic round. Like I said, I painted this already. This is painted, 
So actually, let's wax this surface because I wanted, I do want to wax it before we do a project on it. I did not wax it before, so let's do that. Um, our rustic rounds are super, super cool. You can leave them, which they look like this on the back side. That is without paint, or you can paint them, or you can stain them. That is something else you can do. And I absolutely am in love with our rustic rounds. I love them. I think they're super cool. Um, they make really awesome door um, decor. Really awesome door de decor. And um, I'm a huge fan of decorating my door for the holidays <clears throat> and the seasons. Um, my sister makes a joke and says that I just decorate every day. And it doesn't have to be a holiday. And that is true, but that's because chalk has made it super easy for me to be able to do that. And I love that. Now, if you wanted the chalky finish, you can still have that chalky finish. You don't have to do the, um, I'm noticing that I'm getting the um, wax everywhere. Um, you don't have to wax it if you didn't want to. I'm just doing that to protect my transfer and to protect my um, paste. I don't want it to bleed out. So we are going to let that sit for just a second and then we are going to take the back side and we are just going to rub this in. Now to me, I might have put a little bit too much wax on here, but it's okay. I can get that taken care of, no problem. I'm just going to rub it into place. It works fine. It will work fine. I'm just checking the lighting because I don't want it to... Because from one side it looks fine and the other side it doesn't. So I just want to make sure that we are getting this taken care of. Alright, we're going to set this off to the side for just a second let that kind of absorb and as always we are going to write on the back um i don't know where my pen went it has been a chaotic couple of days so i'm just going to write focus pocus and then my dash mark and of course there goes the tops to my glasses Sorry, you guys. And like always, we are going to, okay, sorry about that. All right. The bigger ones, if you are a little intimidated, don't be. They're, they work just as easy and as our bigger, um, or I mean as our smaller transfers. If you are t intimidated by it, just flip it upside down and fuzz it that way. You can even flip the fuzzing cloth over and pull it so that you're not getting um, the stickiness necessarily, you know what I mean? Like you're kind of controlling where the stickiness is. If it's easier for you to do it upside down, then do that. I suggest that. And the reason why is just because it's a little bit easier to do now, if you are peeling back and your transfer sticks to itself, do not panic, okay? Get it under some water, get it cleaned up, and it will be just fine. So, we are going to sit this down. And we are going to do, I'm going to try and line it up as best as I can. I am, however, going to line it up according to the board. Okay, because I want it lined up. We are going to actually take the raven and we are going to, we are going to cover him with some placement tape. So I'm not going to chalk him right there. We'll put the raven somewhere different. So I'm just going to go just like this and cover that little raven's feet right up right there okay 
I'm not going to do these two little dots either because of the way that I've got this positioned. So we're going to do bright white. Something cool that we're also going to do is we are going to cover this up too because I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I'm not going to do that. But we are also going to go over it with glow in the dark paste because I want it to glow in the dark. Um, so there is that. Our placement tape is repositionable. It's meant specifically for our um, transfers in our silk screen. So everything's just gonna be bright white. We're just gonna do everything bright white. Now, obviously, when we go to do this and peel this up to do the glow in the dark, we're just gonna peel it right back up and do it. We're not going to go and wash the transfer. I'm not gonna do that. You can do that if you want to, but just know that every time you wash it, that's one use, okay? So I'm not going to bother washing it. I'm just gonna go right over top of what was already there. And whatever comes through that silk screen is meant to come through that silk screen. Hopefully we can get that silk screen cleared enough that you're not gonna be able to see any debris in it anyway. So that will be fine. It's a little warm in here today. Um, we've been having an issue with our furnace. So we thought it was the furnace. It turns out it's our thermostat. So unfortunately, we gotta replace our thermostat. It's always something, right? Always something. I'm gonna really quickly get this broom done so I can pull this up. Because I am noticing it is drying really quickly. And I don't want it to dry in that silk screen. So I'm gonna just kind of do a pull. Oh, I love it. And just kind of let it drop. I'm going to push down right here where I'm going to go back over top. And of course, as always, you could use the um, multi-tool right here. That actually would be a really cool tool to use through this because it's a little bit of a tighter spot. But if you don't have a multi-tool, don't fret. One, you can get them off the chalk site, but two, you can do it with the regular squeegee. All right. So there it is. Super adorable. I'm going to dry this. This is going to go on my front door. It's going to be super cute. Hello. I see people popping on, but I can't see comments. Facebook has been weird lately. I don't know what is going on with it, why it's doing what it's doing, but it is what it is, I guess, right? So, we want to make sure that the layer is dry. That is going to be a key thing, because if you're going to layer anything, you want to make sure that first layer is dry. That's why I painted this yesterday, so I just made sure it was dry. You can paint it and then dry it. It's not, it's not difficult to do. but I'm just double checking and making sure it's all done there. Okay, so this is gonna be my where my raven's gonna go. I'm gonna activate that just because I wanna see. So I think I'm gonna put it here. So what I'm actually going to do is I have a bunch of different glues. I'm gonna grab out my Gorilla Glue. My clear Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna glue that down. 
but I'm going to actually, hold on guys, I'm actually going to wait. Let me do the glow in the dark first, just because then I don't have to worry about that spot, because it's going to be a weird spot. So let's lay this down, and you can see right back through that silk screen. So I want to lay this exactly where it was before, because obviously you don't want your glow in the dark to be off. That would be weird. Okay, so right there, I'm just going to kind of push it down, push it down, push it down. I'm going to get chalk paste on my fingers. I know I will. It happens every time. It cleans right up. It's not a big deal. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe and just wash my fingers off. And then we are going to do the glow in the dark. Now, when you use a glow in the dark paste, I'm going to tell you this right now. There's a trick to the glow in the dark paste. The trick is, I always activate it first, just so I can get that glow. But the trick is you have gotta put it on thick. It's gotta go on thick. It cannot go on super, super light. Just can't do that, okay? Forgive all the banging guys. We got the guys here working on the furnace and everything. There's a switch, I guess, upstairs that, in the attic that is not working and so that's fun right but I just want to make sure I'm putting this on pretty thick now you could if you wanted to you could use a paintbrush however I'm not going to do that because many you could tear up that silk screen and I just don't want to take that chance so I'm just going to plop it on here I'm not and if you notice I'm not pulling a lot of it up not pulling it off a lot. I'm just kind of letting it sit in. You have to use this one very, very thick. So if you are like, oh, I don't want to use that much of my glow in the dark. I'm just going to tell you that's how you're going to get it to activate because it is going to not work if you go too thin with it. Trial and error from a lot of us designers and a lot of our customers has have all said the same thing. It doesn't want to go and glow like it should if it's not thick. So it's just, just a little tip from me to you. Just a little tip. And like I said, I'm not pulling it back off. I'm just kind of letting it sit in there, get activated. You can tell the end did not get much. And I'm just kind of doing it like that super easy and then we're going to pull this up okay so you can't really see the glow over top of the um the white i mean you can in the light but not really so i'm gonna let this dry i will activate it and take a picture of it and add it onto my vip group so you guys can see the finished project that's where I always add the finished project pictures is the VIP group so like I said if you're not in the VIP group so much goodness is happening over there so hop on in there join that VIP group there is a link for it alright let's glue this little this little moon down let's get that glued down and I want that right there so I'm actually going to take my clear Gorilla Glue now I use the stuff that's non puffy you know the non puffing Gorilla Glue um, only because I don't obviously want it puffing up so I'm going to push that down just kind of let it sit right there it's going to take it a minute to dry of course and really quickly, I just noticed my transfer's falling, but I'm gonna get that Raven up on there. So let me, oh my goodness, guys, I am making a mess. Making a mess. When do I not though, right? So let's sit the Raven. I'm just gonna push that Raven down. Obviously, I don't want the Raven to be glow in the dark. So, we're going to do our black paste. 
And I'm going to use the end of the multi-tool because then I can get it in there just right. And the end of the multi-tool is a mini squeegee, so I can kind of use it like a pencil or like a marker and kind of get it in where I want it to be. The glue is still not dry, so it's moving and I don't want that to happen, so I'm holding this still. that cute little raven. And he's right there on the cute design there. Just noticed I got a little bit of some paste. Oop. I'm gonna wipe that right off there. And that's one of the great things about having it waxed is that you can fix that just a little tiny bit. Okay. And that is our super cute hocus pocus adorable little sign. I'm not going to lift it up too much because I don't want that little raven to move, but that is the sign. And I will take a picture of it set up on our front door once I get it hung up. And you guys can see the finished project over in the VIP group a little later. I'll post that and get that up. And you guys have a fabulous day, and I will see you all tomorrow for another demo. I'm so excited to be back, and I cannot wait. All right, guys, talk to you all soon. And if you are not a designer, please click the S-H-A-R-E button and spread the love for me, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.